Well, today's show is surreal. Why? Because a few months before starting the show, I posted a photo of this house captioning it how much it was always my dream to tour such dope real estate. And today we are here to tour this house. Actually, that photo had taken last year when we had brought a friend here who was visiting from Germany and they wanted to understand the real estate market in Kenya. Well, many, many months later, we are back to feature this house, which is Amara Ridge, five bedroom with two living rooms and one family room and two DSQs on the show. The house is going for 120 million Kenyan shilling. And if you want to rent it, it is 450 inclusive of the service charge. So let's start the show from here since we're already at the backyard and uh, see what this five bedroom has to offer. So it occupies an area of half an acre and uh, basically this is the backyard which is well loaned and uh, well maintained. They are working on the grass, that's why you can see some patches from there and uh, you have some nice trees. This is current so uh, a lot of greenery, a lot of trees, a lot of birds and uh, the only noise you get to hear is the birds and the airplanes going to uh, Wilson. Yeah? Yep. And again uh, behind the wheel is there is a swimming Swimming pool and interesting to note is that every house comes with a swimming pool however the clubhouse also has a swimming, a swimming pool. pool did you notice it when you're yes. coming in yeah yeah We're, yeah when we were first went to the office oh yeah, yeah. so that's that's a plus <laughs> yeah. so uh you see me excited because i mean when you post something saying how much you want to do it and then you actually find yourself doing it living the dream it, living the dream <laughs> And uh, there was a time Karen Motuko had featured these houses many, many years ago. Yeah. And I remember watching that video saying, Damn, one day it's going to be us touring these houses. So paying homage to the OGs, but now it's our time to shine. Let's do this. So moving on from here, we can, before we leave this area, we can see how the house looks. Uh, this is the back of the house. Very nice. Uh, and. Uh, what do you think, Willis, about the house? I think this is a very beautiful home. Yeah. Especially the fact that uh, we saw it uh, in those early years. People yeah. weren't really building with this design. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it, it, it's more of a timeless piece. Yeah. yeah. So the currently the house is going through some uh, much needed renovations. Yeah? yeah. Because this might look new to some people, but it's actually been there for quite a time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I like how this uh, stone cladding breaks that. Uh, yeah the white monotony, monotony of the yeah. white yeah. yeah 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 it's a very nice uh space and also before you even leave this greenery area yeah have you noticed how this the how the house keeps going up as you yeah will? so it keeps elevating and yeah, elevating, yeah yeah so part of your loan is uh on a uh, uh, lower level yeah then you come to this level then you go to the house level and then yeah. the walkway level. Which is also a plus because that pool yeah. is an infinity edge pool. Oh yeah. Yeah, because, oh, yeah. Of, yeah. because of the effect of... Unfortunately, yeah. the pool uh, has, uh, well, doesn't have water at the moment, yep. but it would, have, it would be so nice to see the edge, the way the water yeah, is the, flowing. Yeah, the infinity edge. At the neighbors. I ah, was like, damn, yeah, nice. that's so cool. Yeah, so, and also there's also a, a water feature at the top of the pool. Oh yeah, yes. oh, so. yeah. at the top of the pool. Yeah. And the neighbor has done a feature yeah, water at the front. Well. Yeah, at the front. Exciting, it's guys. Very you should visit this house and see it. Yeah. So we're not going to pass here. Follow me so that we can go all the way to the front yep. and see what this uh, five bedroom has to offer, right? Yeah. And notice the lighting fixtures. Yeah, so all over basically, the backyard, yeah. Yeah, the backyard, the house is pretty much ready for you. It's just a matter of moving on, moving yeah. in. And uh, from here, we have a space where you can store your gas. Yeah. Because you don't keep gases in the house. Yeah. And on this other side, you have your servant quarters. And before I move in, I wanted to show this. I like how this creates a sort of privacy yeah. between the main house and uh, the, the uh, staff quarters. Yeah. And like I said in the intro, we have two servant quarters. So this is the first uh, space. Uh, so welcome to your first quarter. I know you notice it's just a you know, room, but I'll show you. They have a shared kitchen here a small kitchen space. So just in case, you know, they, they are doing their own meals separately and uh, they have the bathroom 
and the toilet they are shared yeah? yeah 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 and on this other side you get your second servant quarter for me i consider that as good use of space yeah definitely yeah because uh, for this uh, most developers would get one yeah yeah one sq but and uh, they actually good size yeah? yeah 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 so moving on this is also your laundry area yeah. so you have your hanging rings here yeah and uh, you have your place so you can put your washing machines yeah and you have your sink yeah outdoor sink huh? and this door leads to the kitchen however you're going to see that space later let's move on to your car parking area and from here we can see the two car the two slots for your cars yeah, yeah. but the, most the likely if you're living garage, in this yeah. house you have more than two cars yeah so like the neighbors you're going to have all your cars scattered everywhere yeah all over the place yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so but uh this is where you can park your two cars yeah and I have to say I like the backyard and even the fr front facade yeah yep what do you think about it Willis I, I, like I said it's a very very good uh design yeah. and it's a timeless piece and again your grass is well loaned made yeah. well maintained yeah yep. and you even have a lighting fixture there yeah. two lighting fixtures huh? and uh, again these palm trees you know I'm pretty sure at night this place lights up well oh yeah yeah I would love to see it at night yeah. let's hope we get a night shot for this one yeah yeah and again this covers your entrance your entrance porch yep uh meaning uh, that you can again i noticed the neighbor yeah customized theirs yeah. by putting a glass oh, on top yeah, of it yeah yeah so that's a good idea that you can steal from your neighbor yeah so instead of having it covered with mabati yeah. you can do a glass top which yeah. uh, means you get more lighting yeah. though there's already so much so light much here. lighting going yeah, on yeah so i don't even know what you'd need that light but it, i think it, it's it just for beauty so good. at this point yeah for aesthetic yeah yeah and again even from here we we notice the cladding huh? yes that also breaks that monotony of the yeah. white Actually, yeah it, it runs through that place to the uh, back of the yeah. house like i said these are houses that i saw several years back when they were built and i remember looking at the design and being so mesmerized and the thing is i would say even now i like the design and especially after touring a couple of homes in kenya i can officially say that this is one of the best designs that i've seen yeah definitely yeah i want us to do a bit of comparison i know <laughs> some of our viewers hate it when we do that yeah but do you remember a house we saw in kiambu county that had uh, an entrance porch that was covered oh yes and it was a bit squeezed yeah Look at this one. This is very yeah, special. Yeah, this one is very special. You yeah. can you can fit like a couple of cars here. Yeah, yeah, you can actually do a, more than one car here. Yeah. And if you're driving in, you don't have to be so careful not yeah, to, to to not hit knock something yeah, off. Yeah. You know? So this is very special. Again, you don't get so much area for your front porch since they reserve that area for your for, yeah backyard, for your backyard yeah which is also good but this is also a decent space I, yeah I, yeah i don't know why you'd want more than this <laughs> <laughs> another thing that i was us to discuss before you go inside the house uh -huh. what do you what is your idea of houses that uh, have this open form of living like there's no fence just open I, I I like it because uh having a fence makes you feel restricted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like living in spaces that are restrictive, restrictive much. Yeah. 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 You, you'd find me uh dissing grills, yeah. uh dissing um just spaces that are you know <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna put you in front of the camera so that people can see the person who this is green. <laughs> and before moving, I also have to commend them for all this greenery that they showed that surrounds the house. Yeah. So the houses don't, they're all not concrete, yeah? Yeah. There's so much greenery here. Greenery going on, yeah, yeah of course. And it uh, sort of brightens up this area. Yeah. So again, the windows. Oh, how can I not talk about that? Look at this nice aluminum windows yeah so we're going to see this from inside yeah and again it means there's a lot of natural lighting going inside the house yeah so follow me again so that we can see this house look at the size of that door look at that le this, grand entrance this is big <laughs> and uh this is amazing wow welcome to the house uh this is a double ceiling Yeah. And not your ordinary double ceiling. It's actually a huge double ceiling area yeah. and you have this chandelier. Unfortunately, it needs some electrical fixing. Yeah. So it's not working appropriately. Yeah. Uh hopefully when you're coming to buy this house, you find <laughs> it in good condition. But from here, immediately you enter your grand foyer. Uh you can see the staircase that leads upstairs and yeah. you have uh, your first living area in front of you and from here you can also see all the way to your backyard yeah so i imagine this being a very open laid out house especially if you're hosting parties 
this is perfect. This is perfect. And if you own this house, I'm sure you'll be hosting parties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they have this table here for people who are visiting this house uh, to sign, you know, to, yeah. to they have visitors, that is. Uh, however, it basically can see how much space. You have so much space here. Yeah. It's 470 square meters. It's That's a, a big space. Yeah, yeah. And I want us to check the area behind you, Willis, yeah. which is an office space. So welcome to your office. Uh, which is perfectly positioned because it's just next to the door. Yeah. And that means that your guests, when they visit, they don't have to really go inside the house. Mm -hmm. Like, to the, to, they don't have to see the rest of the house. Yeah. Yeah, so they just enter your office to finish your business and they go. Yeah. yeah and the fact that I feel they, they make it possible for people to customize, yeah. you can put an entrance here at the oh, window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they don't have to come through your main door. Yeah. Yeah. So this is actually a very good size window. Yeah. So it means you're getting a lot of natural lighting. Yeah, of course. Yeah, perfect. So let's move on to the other side. And notice the doors. The doors here are perfect. And uh, so on this other side, you have uh, the powder room. So there's a door here. And uh, this is your powder room. This is what your guests will use when they're visiting you. Yeah. Again, that window brings tons of natural lighting. Yeah. I like the tiling and I like this vanity setup. It has been a while since I talked about the oh, floating, floating vanities. vanities yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even the uh, the water. Yeah, water closet. Yeah, it's floating. So another thing. And I like how they hid the same stuff so you can, you can see it. Huh? Yeah. So that's a really nice way of fixing it. And there's a big mirror there. And uh, behind you, Willis, I don't know whether you'll be able to capture this. Uh, just if you close that door, you have this uh, small storage area. Yeah. So if you're having guests coming in and in the evening, they can hang their jackets here. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, then pick so them up as they leave. Uh, so your the coat party. closet. Their coat closet, exactly. Yeah. And uh, on this side, you have uh, the guest bedroom, which is spacious. And again, gets tons of natural lighting. Yeah. Uh, from that window and this one, this is front facing, mm -hmm. and behind here we have the, the the closet area, which I like how the wardrobes are a bit yeah. hidden. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a walk-in. It's like a walk-in. <laughs> yeah. And uh, moving on, you have your wash uh, bathroom area with a floating vanity again, floating uh, water closet, and uh, your shower area is well screened off. Yeah. 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 This is really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Again, tons of natural lighting. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on so that we can see what uh, this house has to offer. This is a big house. And uh, now we're taking these steps to move into the living room area. And uh, from here, you notice even the ceiling again is higher. Yeah. It's a very high ceiling. Yeah? yeah. And I guess they achieved this because of the sunken effect that they have. True. So actually, if you have to count the sunken, the levels, you have one, two, three, four, yeah. five levels. Yeah. Impressive. So it's five level of stairs. Yeah? Oh yeah. It's really nice. Very I love nice. it. Yeah. I also like the place because they have a fire fireplace. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Karen gets cold sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So they have a fireplace and uh, this is not a wallpaper, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is a so, natural stone yeah. cladding. Yep. Again, uh, warms up the space, makes it a little bit different. And uh, I can see that uh, the former owner of this house is making good use of the chimney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah impressive. Of the fireplace, which is nice. Huh? And before I move, we move on, can you see the stone they used? Uh, yeah, it's different. I think that's marble. Fireplace. Yeah. Yeah, that's, this is marble. That's marble. And it's really nice. It's uh, I, I like that it's not brick because most people would use bricks here. Yeah. So they used bricks inside. Yeah. But and out then the here, this, this this makes it look like a 120 million house. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So on this other side, you have your second living room, and um, really, there's so many entrances to this space. Yeah. There's the entrance we just used. There's another entrance there that you can use, and yep. there's this entrance. And how can we not talk about the lighting fixture? Yeah. Look it's a really that. big one. It lights up the space in it's a warm. It's so big yeah. and it's so beautiful. It's not overwhelming for the space. Yep but it's big yeah it's big it's, it's very big and i also yeah. like the warm lighting yeah and the down lighters the down lighters as well okay and uh you have your tv connection even on the other living uh, room yeah you also have a the, tv connection yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, you can also use these sliding doors to access your backyard mm -hmm. and uh, from here we can see the backyard from a different angle 
and yeah. uh, again you have your swimming pool area i yeah. know it's looking very not not <laughs> in a very good state uh, but i'm sure that will change with yeah. a new owner yeah. and uh, you have your water fixture that uh, where this was talking about yes yeah yeah this uh, is very nice yeah I, I, i'm very excited when i see water fix, fixtures yeah, yeah i wish this was on and i can tell it has a lighting fixture as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, around it yeah. so i can tell maybe at night it lights up yep. it'll be so beautiful to see this space at and night and also when the water overflows it flows to your pool oh yeah yeah like so. i mentioned earlier this area is half a, it's a half acre lot yeah so half acre is quite a lot of space and as you can see You yeah, have this greenery also, area yeah. that continues to this level. Again, if you're hosting people, it means they don't have to go through your main house if you're hosting them in the backyard. Yeah. So they can just use this area to access your yeah, your, your backyard. Your backyard. Yeah. And again, there's a nice separation between you and the neighbors with all this greenery and the flowers uh, moving on. I'll have to say I don't know what material this is they used for the cladding oh, the, around yeah. this water fixture and uh the same yeah, area this side, yeah. but it's really nice because i can it's tell well it's well textured because it's you textured. cannot even sleep yeah it's anti slippery yeah and uh, really nice so all this is your space yeah yep so you get to see how your half acre lot continues yeah yeah wow it's a huge space for sure and like, as you were saying it's an infinity pool for sure yeah yeah maybe you should show them so that they don't they <laughs> don't think you're making up stuff yeah it's an infinity edge pool yeah and there you have it guys so let's move back inside so that we can continue with the show <laughs> we are really enjoying this one guys yeah yeah, yeah. You, so, you, you are really making a difficult maneuvers yeah, for someone, me to do someone with someone put camera. it so well in the tigoni house comments yeah he said that, that we are consuming this house to us together with them yes and that is so important so that those people who tell who try to rush us understand that you're also doing this for ourselves yeah not just for we're also having fun we're also having it. fun with these tours yeah so again i had not talked about this railing or oh, the glass railing which is really good and good height yep so good for kids they mm-hmm. want uh, especially very young kids yeah they can jump over Yeah. But again also very good for aesthetics. Yes. Looks very it, it nice. It also creates a it's like a balcony effect oh, yeah. but you are not oh, yeah. high. But, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Like imagine the kind of uh, pagola that set up that you would oh, have. Oh nice. Here. Yeah, pagola would really work and, here. And just feel the sunset. We're shooting this show at uh, around past 4, yeah. Yeah. So we have the sun on our back. Yeah. Uh, it's going down and yeah. uh, just imagine chilling out here. Very what, nice. What a vibe. Yeah. Ah oh, man. So I want us to move inside but through this space. I hope people will follow us and understand. Yeah. And now we're in the dining area. Yeah. And that's another Maybe thing about this just, house. Maybe you can just walk to the back to the yeah. living room. Yeah. So one thing I love about this house is that you can walk out through so many uh exits yeah. and come back through Again. another door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the main living This area. is the main yeah. living room. On that side we have uh the second living room. Yeah. And uh moving on to this other side now. We have the dining area which yes. is spacious. This is a lot of space. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of space. Yeah, this is big. Yeah. And again, the lighting fixture simple but you can feel it. Huh? Yeah. And uh also notice the warm lighting and the down light yeah. lighters. So ju- just one thing. Eh? Yeah. Uh, uh you know how I love open kitchen. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 and that, and that is uh, that, that is the kitchen. So yeah. I would love if it would have opened up to this house. That would have been this room I mean. That would have been very nice. Yeah. However, I have a I think I have an explanation why this is not an open kitchen. Yeah. I think they went with this closed format because yeah. uh chances are if you own this house, mm-hmm. you're not cooking for yourself. Of course, it's a yeah. chef. Yeah, it's a chef or you have a uh, staff that are doing that for you, yeah. which therefore would make it very difficult uh you know for privacy reasons oh yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah 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 and especially when you're chilling there with your guest and so on yeah? mm-hmm. however the other way to make you happy with such a kitchen yeah. would make to have two kitchens oh yeah so, so the, you have yeah. a show kitchen yeah and, and the uh, chef's kitchen and the chef kitchen yeah that would cost you maybe another extra that means <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know <laughs> So, bringing it to a total of 150. Yeah. So moving on to the kitchen. Yes. And again, we, so that's the door. That door leads to your dining area. Yeah. However, and if you're coming from your living room, there's another door that you can use here, yeah? Yes. So you can use this if you're coming up from upstairs or from the living area. Yeah. And I like the fact that they they swing both ways. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Very good point. So as Willis yeah. has said, the doors swing both ways. So you just have to push whichever side you're side on. You are, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a very good fixture. And yeah. it's well fixed, by the way. The hinges. Mm-hmm. Try that means if your that. hands are full, then you can just oh, push it. Oh, you can just push it. Yeah. yeah. yeah very yeah. good. <laughs> when you're, wow, that's a very good point. So welcome to this kitchen. Uh, I know we are talking a lot, but yeah, I said we also did the yeah. show for ourselves. Yeah, so. we are happy to be here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you have a lot of cabinetry. Mm-hmm. This this kitchen is huge. For all yeah. those people who complain about kitchen sizes, I think this is what they imagine that they would want to have. Yeah. It's a very big kitchen. You have your uh, uh, microwave and oven set up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, comes with the house. Yeah, uh, I think that's your space for a fridge. Yeah, this is a space for your fridge. Yeah, and. Uh, Again, you have your burner set up here. Some people might think it ends here. No, 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 it comes all the way all here. The way, yeah. So these are for your electric. Uh, those your, are induction plates. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. So in case you have those kind of uh, for rears, yeah. you can use that. And you have your other four burners there. And your smoke extractor. Again, your cabinetry, even uh, we have a gas, gas cabinetry here, a window here facing your staff quarters yeah? uh-huh. and comes with a double yeah. sink. Yeah? Your favorite feature. Oh yeah, that's a very important <laughs> part of the kitchen. Yes. Yes, sir. And, and you have I a, think that space is for a dishwasher. Yeah, this space for those who want a dishwasher, yep. you can fix it there. Yeah. Yeah. It's an important part of the kitchen as well. Yeah. So again, the island is also functional because it has cabinetry. Yeah. And uh, so this is good for preparations of meals. Yeah. Yeah. And or, also yeah. it can be used as a breakfast bar. Oh, you can also, yes, you yeah. can also use it, as, use it as a breakfast bar. I like how they fixed it. So it's mm-hmm. not all block. Yeah. 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 yeah so it's, it's, a, it's a really nice and cute fixture. I like it. Well yeah. fixed, by well the way. Well fixed, yeah. And I like this dim lighting yeah I think and you also have donators if you want them brighter if I own this house and uh, probably still a bachelor I think I'll use the kitchen more than any other space like I would enjoy my meals here yeah yeah it's really a nice setup (laughs) so moving on on this other side you have more cabinetry yeah that's why I say this kitchen is special true if you can see they have cabinet cabinetry all, all around that side and this one it's it's a lot of space and I want to point out something in case, in case you felt that that space was smaller for your fridge, yes. why do you think you'd put uh, another fridge with this? I think for me, those cabinets will have to go, would go out. Yeah? yeah, that's what I also thought. Yeah, yeah. When I saw this space, in fact, I feel that this cabinet they look like an after uh, after thought. Yeah. yeah, because they are not even on the same color as yes. the other cabinetry. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this, I think, is something that you can take down and uh, have uh, your very big fridge. Yeah. Here for those who. Understand some people have a cold room. <laughs> so <laughs> and this is your pantry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very sizable one. It's a sizable one, yeah. yeah. And uh, notice even the high ceiling in the pantry area. Yes. And uh, this door leads to your uh, laundry area and the staff quarters. We had already seen this space. Yeah. So let's uh, go back in the house. Take the stairs so that you can see the space upstairs. Wow. So guys, don't get offended for all the talk. I warned you, I'm living my dream, so <laughs> that explains it. So again, I, I had not talked about the wooden floors. <sighs> That's so bad. Yeah. So the living room gets wooden floors, mm-hmm. and most of the common areas gets wooden floors. Wooden floors yeah. So as you can see, your stair is well uh, covered with wood, and you have this window that goes all the way to the top. Look at that. That's, yeah. that, that's a lot that's of natural yeah. lighting to your space. And uh, from here, we can see, you can still enjoy the double heights. Again, that is your main door, the chandelier that hangs there. And you have two guests. You have two bedrooms on this side, another two bedrooms on this side. But let's talk about the family room. Again, it's a common area, so wooden floors, yeah? Yes. And I think the floors are well done. Mm-hmm. They just need a little bit of polishing. Yeah, which I'm sure the new owner would do, or it will be done during the renovations. Yes, comes with two chandeliers. Of so not all of them are working. I talked to the person in charge and told me that they are doing some electrical works, uh, mm. which is part of the renovations. Yeah? yeah, this is a very spacious area. What do you think? I think it is quite a spacious area. And to yeah. add on that, they have a kitchenette. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> look at the kitchenette here. Yeah, again a big window. Yeah. 
Yeah, so you have sinks here. You can use this as a bar setup as well. Yeah, you and can, the ceiling height. Oh, the ceiling height is yeah. very high. You can actually add more cabinetry here if you want. Yeah, it. True. and it should still be spacious. Yeah? yeah. So this is a lot of space. Mm -hmm. For this house, the one thing I've noticed: 470 square meters. I didn't even expect it to be that big, but it's really big. Yeah, it's really big. Yeah, yeah, it's very big. And again, from here, we can see we can enjoy the view of the grad foyer yeah which is very big yeah yeah and uh i think we should talk about this balcony before we move to the bedrooms mm -hmm. and uh wow even your balcony space is huge yeah and again these are sliding doors which means you can slide and stack them on the side yeah yeah and enjoy your outdoor living yeah yes very nice space and from here we can see the metal framing can you see that, Willis? I'm sure you try and get a shot of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, part of the, the steels that hold up the, the uh, structure yeah. of the house. Yeah. 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 Very impressive. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. 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 The and, beams. Uh, yeah. You can enjoy your backyard. Wow. What a space. There was a reason why I came to see this house. I guess even at that time I was trying to just please myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I love these houses. Yeah. So let's uh, move on. So we start with these two bedrooms on this side. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's start with this side. Uh, so this is a front facing bedroom. And uh, again, it's wooden, the floors. Yeah. And you have a balcony space here. And from this angle, we can see the balcony, which is spacious. This is a huge balcony. Yeah. Look at that. Faces your front. Yeah, facing your front. And from here, you can enjoy some, you know, the greenery views. Yeah? Yes. And your neighbor's houses are also beautiful. So you are in the presence of excellence. Yeah, I bet it <laughs> yeah. must be inspiring. Maybe, maybe you can walk uh, to the side. <laughs> so I can walk all the yeah. way to this so, side. Yeah, so that, so can that people see can well. see uh, yeah. how the bedroom size. Yeah. And uh, I've noticed there's there isn't like anything like a small bedroom for that for this. Yeah, area. for this house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They so are, they are all quite quite roomy. good size. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's. Uh, Again, the wardrobe is hidden, as we saw downstairs. Yeah. So it, it's not on your face when you're in the bedroom. Exactly. So guys, if you're sleeping in the same room with your clothes, <laughs> ah, wakada, wakada. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the bathroom space. You have your floating vanity there, which is nice. Like, look at the tiling with this. Really Amazing. Yeah, yeah, the I like the texture of it. Yeah, the sister is hidden, the water mm -hmm. closet. And I want to, you to take a shot of these uh, shavers. Uh -huh. Okay. Really nice. So you really want me to? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get that. Yeah. And uh, this is the shower area. Again, you have a window here bringing yeah. tons of I like how lighting. it's big, uh, like um, the house in Tigoni. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Only really that it big. doesn't run to the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, moving on to this other side. Wow. So this one is uh, you get that sunken feeling yeah? yep. and you're upstairs. Yeah. So again, a sizable bedroom uh -huh. comes uh, with uh, that sort of separation of the wardrobes and the, and the room. And the room, yeah? yeah. It's like a walk-in closet with a full bathroom here. Yep. Uh, again, almost similar to the other one. So let's show them the water, the floating vanity, water closet, yeah. and your shower area. Again, the tiles here are a bit different, but yeah. they're really nice. Darker tone. Yeah. They, yeah. they feel the, I can feel this value. You know, when we were touring the other house that we featured a few weeks ago, yeah. uh, people complained. Of, I even took a client there and the client was like, ah, the tiles here, the house is good, but the tiles are very, yeah. in fact, it's Wazwa, the tiles are very kikoyu. <laughs> <laughs> so to you as the developers watching, yeah. please make sure that uh, you're finishing match your prices. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, for this house, I can say that uh, the finishing do match the pricing. And uh, we have a balcony space here, a big balcony. Yeah. Woo. I like the fact that all all uh, bedrooms come with a balcony. Yeah. So I don't know whether you can be able to steal a shot of the neighboring house without them noticing. Yeah. But it would be nice for people just to see how the pool space looks so beautiful. Yeah. Can you see that? <laughs> oh, guys, you have to be very careful. These yeah. are some yeah. of the things we go through doing these shows for I, you. I'll try and get it in the bureau. And then you come and call us names in the comment section. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. So again, here is your backyard. Yeah. Uh, very nice. From here, you can enjoy the views of your backyard and uh and this is a very very spacious balcony oh yeah i can even feel the water feature and i'm watching as how the water is flowing yeah so that's how pool. that pool would be guys yeah so amazing amazing you if you can afford this house take it yeah so moving on uh 
That is bedroom number three, yeah? Mm-hmm. So let's check bedroom number four. And uh, bedroom number four is on this side. Again, very spacious, my goodness. All the bedrooms are spacious. And this one gets a very huge wraparound balcony. Yeah. It's uh, not that big. More of a Julian, yeah? More like a Julian balcony. Yeah. And Willis, you notice how it's well raised. Yeah, it's well raised. So there's privacy and yeah. uh, good for child proofing, yeah? Yeah. So, and on this side, if you can follow me, you can maybe show them how it wraps around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see that, yeah? yeah? So there's so much space here. And uh, when we're inside, I'm sure guys noticed this window, yeah. which runs from down all the way to the all top. All the way to the top. Yeah, yeah. And uh, let's move back inside. And for waterproofing and protection, they cover these areas with steel ah, or nice. mabati rather. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's a nice feature. Mm-hmm. And uh, here is your wardrobe spacing. This is as well. Yeah, still well hidden. And uh, you have your floating vanity, water closet, and uh, your shower area. These tiles are similar to, I think, the bedroom on the other side. Yeah, the yeah. mosaic one. Oh, the mosaic, yeah. and uh, even this earth filling one. Nice. They, they have an earth tone filling. And uh, the next bedroom that you're going to check is the primary bedroom. I know that's what most people want to see. Again, your primary bedroom, just like the other bedroom on that side, gets a sunken filling. Yeah. And uh, immediately walking, you are met with your walk-in closet. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said this is not a walk-in closet, it's a hallway. <laughs> 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 Guys, you are tough in these houses. I want to visit your houses. Yeah. Uh, but again, I'll call it a walk-in closet. It will pass. Yeah. It's uh, very spacious. Very There's spacious a lot of space here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I like uh, these sliding doors. So yeah. since you don't have so much space here, mm-hmm. instead of the doors opening this way, yeah. it makes it's more sense when they, they slide. slide yeah. Yeah. And uh, notice you have lighting even within the wardrobe yeah. spacing. Yeah. So it's not dark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, you have a, even a mirror. I, I would have loved for you to have the GTC feature. Oh yeah. Working. Oh yeah. The, the warm lights yeah. that uh, yeah. light up. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, something that maybe someone who is buying the house can uh, yeah can do, have it fixed yeah during the renovations yeah have a mirror set up there and again on this side you have your bathroom so th- this is your bathroom i uh, get uh, uh a double a his, a yeah. and has oh. yeah <laughs> someone said do, do not say double <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's a kitchen <laughs> <laughs> which again is floating nice yeah. to see and uh, you get a tub more like a jacuzzi mm. and uh, i know guys you know, forgive us for that, that they are doing renovations. That's why yeah. you have those ones. Uh, these are the shivers that I was talking about. Mm-hmm. This is very cool. I like it. It's not your usual socket. Yeah. 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 And uh, here you have your shower area. Uh, we, it's a walk-in. You have your handheld and your rain head. And again, the tiling is, I would say it's well done. Mm-hmm. And you have your water closet well hidden behind the door. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So let's move on to the bed space. And uh, welcome to your bed space. Willis, do you think this is spacious enough for one 20 million? I think yeah. it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For me, like, uh, even if it doesn't feel like it's that big, yeah. I think it's enough. And if you consider what the the rest of the yeah house. the rest of the house yeah. gives I yeah. mean yeah. what what more can you do with the yeah. space so I think they were trying to strike a balance between the common areas yeah because you notice how we have a very big uh, family room yeah of and uh, the bedrooms yeah so th- this is good sizing very perfect and, and uh, again behind the wheels you have these sliding doors and uh, this balcony which from here you can enjoy your view yeah and overlooks your pool. My goodness. Do you think you can dive from here to the pool? Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is the shallow end. Yeah. So it would be dangerous. Oh, yeah, it would be dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if this was the deeper, deeper end, yeah. then it would have been, I yeah. wish that's how it was. That, yeah. yeah. But maybe they're trying to discourage people from doing that. <laughs> yeah. The last thing we want is someone dying uh, from the. Uh, from you know, our advice. Yeah, from our advice. Although so, uh, there's a space here, I think it opens up to yeah. the rest of your balcony. Wow. Wow, this is yeah. nice. I had not even noticed it. Thank you for noticing it. Yeah. Uh, however, I can you can tell yeah, you can just it's uh, yes. oh, it opens. Opens up and, to uh, from yeah. here. So this is a wrap around balcony. Yep. Which means you can 
walk around mm-hmm. and uh water space just don't do it when you're drunk because yeah, you will fall. of course yeah yeah <laughs> oh so unless you put some glass oh, railings oh yeah yeah so guys like i said earlier on this is something that was more of a dream uh it's a dream come true yes uh, especially because i posted a photo of this house and said how i was looking forward to doing these shows yeah. and uh, here we are doing them so thank you so much for working with us it this journey has been epic epic we are enjoying it and we, are, we value you so much and we want to continue having you as our viewers so meantime if you would like to see this house Ray's number is there in the description area just give him a call and he'll tell you how you can get it uh, and uh, if you like what you've seen please share and if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe I'm your host Mark Massa and behind the camera is Willis as usual Bye. Bye.